Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome back to Mac Break Studio. Here we are in downtown Petaluma at the Pixel Core Studios. And here I have Mark Spencer, and he's going to show us call outs. Call outs, yes. Call outs. Oh, okay. So, um, <laughs> what is a call out? So, call, so here's the deal because motion is now the effects development environment for Final Cut Pro 10, it's Modev. It's Modev, yeah. You can actually make plugins using Motion as a development tool for Final Cut Pro 10, uh, which is what we did with this product called Callouts. Um, and if you know what Callouts is, if you go to our website, we've got a little promo video that shows you what it is. Uh, but I just want to show you briefly how to do something with it that wouldn't be... That wouldn't be... Doing Callouts, sorry. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so here's, here's kind of the deal. So if you install Callouts, first, it's part of FX Factory, which is a sort of plugin management tool for a variety of, of different plugins that you can try out. But once you install them and you go to your titles browser, you'll have a new category of titles called Ripple Callouts. So they're titles. Well, they are titles, but they're much more than that. Um, and that's what I want to kind of get titles across. Titles are part of them. But so there's these 12 different callouts, and they basically are different ways to uh, call things out on your video. And I wanted to show you a few examples, and then we're going to build one real quickly. And you can see, uh, in many cases here, I have stacked many on top of each other, because you can use, uh, you know, use them many across many at a time. So for instance, in this little map I have, I have some animated lines and text that, uh, you know, sort of explain uh, this graphic, because maybe we've got to demonstrate something to an architect. Um, or here I've got this truck that I want to measure uh, the sides of. Or here I've got a little animated map. You can do all kinds of really cool animated maps uh, that show a line going from one place to another on a, a map, or in this case, a globe. Raiders of the Lost Ark style. Exactly, <laughs> Raiders of the Lost Ark kind of style. Um, and here's an example of like a little instructional video where I'm using callouts to explain how to play the F minor chord on a guitar. That's good because that's a tough key. I mean, tough. That's chord. A, that it's is a tough, tough chord. chord. That's it's yeah. F major is even worse. That's actually not as bad as F major. So, and here's a little like, you know, instruction of your learning how to play pool. And you can see you can take the callouts and actually manipulate them in 3D space and make them 3D. Here's like an extruded thing. So, um, there are things that you could create in motion, but this way they're all right in Final Cut and, and very easy to manipulate. Yeah. For instructional videos, they're great enough to make them. From instructional scratch. videos, or just you can do little talking head balloons. Here's an example of a magnifier that will magnify part of an image. So, if I select this guy, I can take that and, and magnify different parts well, of this like image. You're moving it over the image, and it's magnifying yeah. wherever the target, the, excuse me, the center point is. Yeah, and in fact, it also blurs the background, which you, you can turn on or off. These have many, many parameters. So instead of a magnifying glass, I could say, I just want it to be a colored circle that is yellow or green that has, you know, is wider, or I want it to be this little crosshairs here. And you can change how, how big that, this is, gives you an example um, the scale of magnificate, the magnifier oh, scale. Nice. There's little hashes in there. Yeah, and how big it's, it magnifies. Um, so it gives you just a sense. All these are very uh, customizable. But what I wanted to show is how to do a little picture-in-picture -picture effect. Okay. Because that might not be really obvious. So I have a clip here, uh, Machu Picchu, and what I'm going to do is just hit the X key, Come which will... <laughs> so I hit the X key, which marks the range of the clip. Right. Okay. And now I'm going to go down to these callouts, and I'm going to choose the one called shapes, because some of these like pointers and circles and magnifiers. Picture well, those, those. Well, they're kind of obvious what they do. Or there's these uh, talking balloons. You know, you can add a little talking to have somebody say something. Uh, but shapes are a little less obvious. But I'm going to choose shapes, and then I'm just going to hit Q, which will do a connect edit. Uh, exactly matching the duration of that clip. That's a nice feature. Okay. Now the cool thing about this, within here I've got some, uh, I can move the whole thing, I can move the text independently uh, of the shape, and then these are little on-screen controls, I can change the size of this thing. Okay, so I've got a lot of control there, and then in the inspector, let's blow this up a little bit, I can have a rectangle or a circle, I'm going to stick with a rectangle, maybe round the edges a little bit, and then all those things I changed in the screen with the on-screen controls, I also have the same controls here uh, because I can keyframe them right. to animate it over time. 
But what I'm interested in, I'm going to go down here to where it says use drop zone. Oh, you set up, okay. published a drop zone for putting video in. Yeah, so rather than a white background, you can stick some video or anything in there. So I'm going to turn off show text. I'm going to turn on use drop zone and Wait. drop the opacity of the fill. Oh, now you see the drop zone. Now the drop zone well is there, right? So now if I click on the drop zone here, just like any other drop zone, I can select an image. Uh, yeah, come to Machu Picchu and play the pool. pool. Yes. So I'll select That's that. Great. And then I can scale I can scale that image down. And this could be video too. And I can pan it in X and Y to fit in it exactly the way I want. And I'll say uh, apply clip. Maybe pan it down a little bit more. Not the position, sorry. I want to scroll down and change the drop zone content position to something like that. Yeah. Okay, so, and that can be video, so very easy to do a picture and a picture effect of, of really any size I want. And what's kind of cool is because all of these work in 3D, see I've got X, Y, and Z rotation. Someone told you to put that in there. Somebody did tell me to put that in there. I wonder who that was. <laughs> so I can kind of rotate that to give a little offset look to it. Is there a drop shadow? Uh, there's a drop shadow on everything. Oh, good. <laughs> I remember Scott Kelby learning Photoshop from Scott Kelby years and years ago. It's like, everything looks better with a drop shadow. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, so the shadow <laughs> opacity, shadow blur, shadow distance here, I'll move it away so you can see oh, the, nice. the drop shadow in there. So um, just one thing is one way you can use these callouts is to do kind of a picture-in-picture -picture effect. Which is so, quite common. In yeah, quite co videos. common and necessary. Because you might look at them and say, oh, well, that would be great if I want to do, you know, uh, uh, an instructional video. But sometimes you want to do a little split screen or picture in picture. And uh, call outs are a great way to do that. Excellent. So, how can someone get call outs? Call outs is a plugin. You can either just, if you have FX Factory, um, so if you go to noiseindustries.com and you install FX Factory, which is free, it installs trial versions of a bunch of different so it installs uh, plugins, all these. including these. And you can, if you don't want to see them all, some people don't like that when you when you then launch Final Cut, you see a whole bunch more titles and effects. I know, I've got all these effects yeah. that I don't. If you don't want to see them, you can launch FX Factory and turn those off and just see the ones you want. But it gives you a fully functional trial version of this um, where you can, uh, with help and tutorials, that you can check it out if you want to buy it. Fully functional, just watermarked. You can also go to rippletraining.com and, um, and, and get it from there and watch the video on how to use it. Excellent. So that's, yeah, that's call outs. And it's been, uh, we've had it out for now like a month or so, and it's been fantastic. And people are doing like really cool stuff with it. Yeah, you can send us your videos of what you're doing with call outs. We'd yeah, like to, please, like, that would be cool. We'd like to know. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching another edition of Mac Break Studio. And uh, check out the call outs. I think you'll find them very helpful. Thanks, Mark, for oh, yeah. being here. And we'll see you next time.